Fitness Vlog with your host Pablo Gunner and I am here to talk nerdy to you about fitness stuff and nerdy stuff. So I've actually already recorded this one. I, this is me re-recording it weeks later because the footage disappeared. I know I recorded it on the same computer and it's gone. So I am now redoing it. And it's one of the things that's, it's really irritating me. So, I, I'll, like, I have a few more that I've already recorded of these, and I'll put them out, but I, it's one of those things that it's, this, this has become a hassle. And uh, I just, I just want to, I just want to live my life, you know, I just want to play video games. I just want to play some video games when I get home and, uh, and pass out. You know, instead of having to edit, you know, videos and audio and all this stuff like that. I mean, I'm still going to probably edit, like, at least one video a week. But it, it is a hassle nonetheless. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and knock this out. So, workout stuff. I'm going to be talking about workout stuff. You know, music that I listened to. Food I ate. Uh, you know, diet and stuff like that. Um, you know, nerdy stuff podcast shows, comics, video games, whatever. So I'm going to knock it out. Starting with workouts, so day one I did yoga. Um, I wanted to take it easy that day because I had this thing going on and so I didn't want to be too tired for it because I'm always tired when I do that hardcore run. Um, and that day they, I got fed uh, they fed us for this event, and it was a ham sandwich, and then this guy gave me his apple. Um, but, uh, that's pretty much it. I didn't have any, I barely had any water throughout the shift, so I was dehydrated, and I barely had any water throughout the shift. Like, I eat, I'll eat two or three times a day. Uh, for yoga, probably not so much, because it's not too strenuous, but, yeah, still. All I had was a, a ham sandwich, and then hours later, an apple. So I was too tired, I, well, I was too hungry to eat. So I went home, and so I had a, a piece of, it was like a chicken strip, essentially, and a potato wedge, and uh, some crackers, and then fruit and nut mix, and then my snack pack on the way home, because I was just, I was starving. Um, then for day two, uh, I did do the treadmill. I did a five mile run um, for 48 minutes. Uh, incline, I went up to 1.9, so pretty much every time I did a quarter mile, bumped it up a point one. Um, I ended up burning 535 calories, that's what it says. That's what it said. So, uh, and that's all I did. See, that's the thing is when I run that much, I'm tired. And so after shift, I usually don't end up working out. So for that day, I had salmon and mashed potatoes, green beans. But so yeah, for day three, I came in before shift, did wide grip pull-ups. I did four sets. Um, I did five sets of pull-ups, five sets of uh, 50 uh, for the twists where I had the 15 pound weights. And then I think for the pull-ups, I think I did 10, 8, 6, I want to, I want to say, and then, um, and then for pull-ups, I did this, I did like 10, 8, 6, 4, 25 military push-ups, 30 regular push-ups, 25 wide grip push-ups, 5, 25, as I call them, L Cool J's, where you're completely flat out on the ground, and then you bring, bring it all in, you know, like this, and then boom, bring the knees in, bring the elbows in, all together, all at once. 25 of that, 25 leg lifts, 25 hello dollies, hello dollies, you just open your legs out like this. 50 scissors, or kind of like scissor kicks, flutter, flutter kicks. For what I had for food was those mini ham sandwiches again, uh, and pita chips, and then shredded chicken in potatoes, and then a mini turkey sandwich. Uh, I did buys, I did uh, buys, shoulders and abs, so I did four sets of 20 full alternating curls, four sets of 20 side lateral raise, four sets of 20 preacher curls, four sets of 20 front lateral raise, 
four sets of 10 barbell curls, eight sets of 10 shoulder press, four sets of 10 incline alternating curls, and yeah, so yeah, it was a lot of stuff. It was hardcore, it was a long workout. Yeah, my fifth day, I did four mile treadmill run in 30 minutes. And then uh, for food, the same thing. I had like a firehouse sub, but then I also had that other stuff, mini ham sandwich, um, pita chips, and uh, shredded chicken and potatoes. You know, I, I just had enough left over. And then I also did a workout and after my shift, once again, where I did triceptagons and chesties, uh, eight sets of ten one-handed cable pull-downs, um, and then a chest press, uh, four sets of ten standing overhead barbell skull crushers, um, and then four sets of ten incline chest flies, and then four sets of twenty reverse tricep extensions. Uh, and then for music for the week, I listened to disco, so I was dancing around quite a bit for one of the days because I was like the only one in there. So, and that was the day that I was like, uh, mostly, I think I was doing, I was doing the pull-ups and I was doing the abs is what I was doing. Oh, and push-ups. That's what I was doing that day. Um, I think. So, yeah. And then, uh. Bruno Mars, I've been listening to a lot of Bruno Mars because on my trip I listened to Bruno Mars and I was like, oh, I want to listen to more Bruno Mars. So I listened to each album. And then I had also been listening to uh, Secondhand Serenade as well. And then uh, for podcasts, I, well, I didn't really listen to podcasts, but I listened to audiobook, Clash of Kings, which is the Game of Thrones second book. Uh, I think I'm about halfway through it. Uh, then for shows, I had binge watched Stranger Things 2, which is a phenomenal show. Everyone should watch it. Uh, if you love the 80s, you'll like it. If you love 80s music, you'll like it. And if you like movies, like sci-fi, scary movies, but not too scary, you know, like Predator and Alien, uh, Aliens, um, you know, and a lot of stuff like that, like, it's total homage to a lot of that stuff. So, yeah. And then for comics, same stuff, like, the, you know, the Mojoverse was, was going on, Spectacular Spider-Man been phenomenal because uh, there's this part I think he did an interview with J. John Jameson and stuff and that was really emotional and then the metal stuff is just hardcore and then Captain America because Mark Wade and Chris Samney are doing Captain America and they did such a phenomenal job on it they just killed it knocked it out of the park and it's like that's how you do Captain America right not like Nick Spencer who just crapped all over it with his stupid hydro crap idea um, and then for gaming stuff, there was PlayStation put out a lot of stuff for the, uh, for Paris. I haven't even watched all of it yet because there's so much. And the biggest thing was like the PS4 Spider-Man game. And then the other one was the last, uh, the last of us part two. Oh my God. That was like, that churned my stomach because there's this part where this guy takes a hammer to this girl's arm and you can hear the bones crunching and it just grosses me out. Um, and that was really intense and really hardcore and awesome. And God of War stuff, which was really cool. Expanding on that, there's just Shadow of the Closet. So many great things came out of that. So check it all out, especially if you're a PlayStation fan. There's a lot of good stuff to look forward to. Some some stuff that's already out. Some stuff that uh, it'll it might be a while. So yeah. Um, but uh, but that's it for. For now, um, I want to know who your favorite uh, Stranger Things character is. There was a great character in Season 2. Uh, I don't want to spoil it, though, so I'm going to stick with like the main cast of Season 1 um, and just go with Eleven, because Eleven's awesome, and she's a girl that's kicking butt, and she has freaking uh, telekinesis powers and stuff, so like... How is that not cool? You know, she breaks out of that DOE facility and stuff. And like, it's, it's just, it's really, it's just a great first season. And then somehow they kicked it up a notch for the second season. So, uh, you know, yeah, it was, it was really, really well done. So can't wait to see more. But I want to know what your favorite character is and why uh, from Stranger Things. Um, and that's it for me for now. Uh, stay fit, stay healthy. Love, peace.